So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video and today guys, I'm going to show you this secret area that you can easily miss. It's not an area you have to progress through. It's full of some juicy loot and the area right, is right here on the map guys. It's a big old area that you've probably got greyed out on your map. But today guys, I'll showcase to you exactly how you get here, the loot you get on the way and much, much more. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this secret area is called the Abyssal Woods. It's quite a hard hitting area. There's some tough enemies down here. There's one boss you have to take out on the way who's not too bad. The boss's name is Jory the Elder Inquisitor. Upon you doing that, you get this weapon right here, which we'll check out in a second. Uh, but just progressing on from this boss, you unlock a grace, then you get invaded by someone called the Madden Hand, and you then get this right here, which is quite cool too. A madness build up fist type weapon, which is pretty badass for those out there that want it. You can also, guys, get these too, which is like a fire version of those perfume bottles, which are just lying there. And this is, I've just took, basically just tipped the surface of what's actually down in this area. That you can actually get in regards to that loot but today guys i explain absolutely everything you need to know okay so the weapons themselves let's take a quick look at them we have the barb staff spear uh, these scales with that strength dexterity and faith and causes that bl uh, blood loss build up it's got that special uh, skill the unique skill of uh, joe's inquisition which is what we just checked out guys again hold down that uh, skill button and you just spray these out pretty cool for those spear lovers out there you also get the mad in hand causes madness build up with scales with strength dexterity intelligence and faith and a mad in spear hand strike which is what we just saw there pretty cool and then guys you also get the frenzy flame perfume bottle this doesn't have a unique skill to it but hey scales without strength dexterity intelligence and faith and causes that madness build up and this is just lying around like i said for you to get so where do you get this from so the area like i said is the abyss of woods and you want to start from guys the main gate plaza grace point now if you've defeated the golden hippopotamus that's basically this grace right here within shadow keep now we actually trek down and we also we go through a secret path uh, go through one of those coffins that teleports us and we end up right here within the castle watering hole then we push down this way to the Reclusive River upstream, we come down to this one, Reclusive River downstream, then we come down to this catacombs, the dark light catacombs within the bottom of this is that boss, the Jory Elder Inquisitor. Upon defeating her, we get access to this entire area, but it is a quite a difficult path to actually navigate and actually get here. And like I said, you probably find this on the off chance. I mean, it's so such a weird area. You don't have to go here. And like I said, the initial phase to get to even this point right here guys is hard enough so yeah so okay let's go so from the golden hippopotamus grace point which is the main gate plaza let's lead the way and as usual guys if you've unlocked any of the uh the graces i've already mentioned i'll put timestamps down below to where you need to go from said grace so you can skip all this part if it's a waste of your time so you're just going to come this way guys run past all these enemies and keep coming watch this guy kicking out there oh and don't get jacked with your backside like that there's a few enemies here that do hit quite hard along the way as well, which you're going to have to try and dodge. The catacombs itself is pretty... Oh my days, I'm getting battered by everything here. Nah, lad, you ain't, you ain't that quick. Nah, put that ball down. Woo, put that ball down. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to come forward here. And this is where the first secret path uh, comes to. There's an invisible wall that you actually have to hit to, to lead the way. Get out. Oh my... I, don't, I can't get past a single enemy without being hit. What the hell's in my arm? <laughs> what the heck is in my arm? Oh, I haven't picked that up yet. Come to that, eh? And now, guys, you want to come down these ladders right here. So scale down these, descend down them, just like so. Wow. And then, guys, you want to run into this waterfall. Yes, a secret little path. Come down these ladders right here. What the? That man was after me. Okay, so now, guys, we're down here. So, right here, guys, this wall will be locked off. You need to hit it. Just hit the wall, and it will, well, disappear. You can walk through. And then, guys, you end up right here. Now, come down this way. And then, 
jump in the coffin. Jumping in this coffin teleports us to where we want to want to go. So I'm going to skip this because I've seen it a hundred times. But yeah. So guys, you end up right here, which is right before the castle watering hole. So that's one hidden path out of the way. So I'm just going to activate that grace because we need to replen all that health. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to jump on your mount and come this way. So make your end is also a fire uh, golem here who's going to get up out the water. Now he more or less one bombs you. He one bombed me yes, about three times in a row. So the do I take is just run straight down this way. Run towards that pillar there on your left and run towards those trees then in front of you. He normally does his attack that goes down to the right so it completely misses you. So if you run across to the right hand side, nine times out of ten it's going to get you. So it seems as though now he isn't going to attack. Oh no, he is going to attack. There we go. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> absolutely brutal. You have to be careful of that attack because like I said, it absolutely destroys you. So now guys, we are at the Reclusive River Upstream Grace. Come this way. Come this way, people. Come this way. There's a few things you have to jump off, so be very, very careful of them. You don't want to be falling down here, people. You definitely don't. Okay, so now we're going to jump across here, just like that ghosted right there. That wasn't a grace then, was it? It looked like a grace then, it wasn't. It was something I just missed. Something I just missed. So come this way, ignore these flying critter things that are annoying as heck and suck the juice out of your body. Jeez! I keep coming this way. Just run past all of these. And now we have to scale down here. Just like so. And I'm going to jump off my horse just to replen because these guys are probably going to be chasing me down. Yes, they were. Okay, so now we are at the, uh, the Reclusive River downstream. So where you want to go from here, guys, is down there. So jump back on your horse. Now this is where you have to be careful. So just walk off. Don't be doing no double jumps. Just follow exactly what I do. Just walk. Don't run. Just walk. No double jumps. No need for that to make it difficult for yourself. Just turn around slowly. Okay, double jump there if you make a mistake. <laughs> if you make a mistake, at least you got your double jump, people. At least you got your double jump, people. Okay, so now we are basically at where we need to go. So now we're going to run over to here. So we're running southeast. And now we're going to have to jump down yet again. I haven't even explored, explored on this area yet. I just fell off the wall. I just fell down a waterfall. I just fell down a waterfall, people. Okay, so don't go towards that waterfall people because it leads to death as you just noticed okay so i don't even know if i've got runes there to be honest Let's grab them jump this way and you want to come down here this is where you want to be at people you want to scale down yet again so this one's a little bit more difficult but again just walk off be slow don't don't press that sprint button because things will probably end bad for you and you'll get yourself in a little pickle which won't be very fun again very slow and now I'm just gonna put on my torch so we can see where we are at now guys just follow the cliff side keep it on your left and you'll see two little candles and that's where you want to go jump into here now where we're at now guys is I think I'm in combat so I want me to pull up my uh, my map but yeah there we go, right there. We're now in the dark light catacombs. Now, I have to call the lift because I've been here already and it comes from quite far down by the looks of it. There it is, it's right here. Now, this is quite the catacombs to run through. Now, it's not difficult, so to speak. I mean, I guess that maybe a couple of enemies you may want to take out. Where's my rivers of blood? Because there may be one or two little sneaky bastards. Okay, so here's the grace which you want to activate, like I said. That one right there. And now you want to come this way. Did I put my torch on? There we go. Now it's very dark in here, so take it right here, guys. 
I can actually run past all these enemies to be honest. Then I left. And then you want to come this way. Keep to the right here. Now, as soon as you go to this door, guys, there's going to be a guy with a cannon on his face. Dodge straight away. There you go. And keep dodging. Just dodge past him. Dodge there. There you go. Now here, guys, this is actually there's an enemy you want to take out. So go down these ladders. Scale down them. And I see these enemies are going to chase me. And come this way. I think these ones you can just dodge down. Turn right and stick to the right here. And there's going to be an enemy that pops out. You want this guy here, kill him straight away. He hits so jeez hard. It's unbelievable. So take him out and then just focus on. And then guys, you should be good to just keep going down. There's a few lifts that take you very, very deep on the ground here, which you're going to take straight away. Hey, that looks like a spear. That's nice, it's different. It's different. Let you off, lad. Let you off, lad. Okay, so. Now, guys, we're going to push on forward again. And there's another part here where there's another big old cannon dude who shoots at your ass. So from here, you want to take a left down these stairs. Oh, she's He was quick. Come straight down here. Just like this. And then take another left. And you want to descend down these ladders. I'm not sure. You could probably actually make that jump, to be honest. You could probably make that jump. Let's try it. Oh, I made it. Nice. Okay, so you can make the jump. Now you just want to go down this uh, uh, here. Into the darkness, people. Now watch this guy here above you. And just run straight forward. I think you can see them, them attacks absolutely obliterate. So you're going to jump on this lift again. No one follow me. No one's following me. Good. I'm going to scale all the way down again. Quite a far drop, people. In, in, well, how far down under the ground do you go? Okay, so now we're just going to push forward and again, this is where that guy with the cannon is. So as soon as you hear the attack coming, you got to dodge this. you got to dodge that. If you don't dodge it, I think it one bombs you. So drop down and then guys, you want to push up to the platform. Because from this point, it can't actually hit you. So from here, okay, stick to the edge, stick to the right. And then guys, we've got to make our way down here. So as soon as you hear that attack coming, just be dodging. Just be dodging out of the way. Just like so, and you want to take a right, and you're good. Now guys, we take one more lift down, I believe, and then we're at, I think we know it's at the boss fight. And this is Joe the Elder Inquisitor. Which, to be honest, I didn't find too hard at all. My rivers of blood absolutely melted with my mimic summon. What I will say is, when you come into this boss fight, if you want to drop any summons, you want to run to the grave uh, just on your left hand side. As soon as you get through the door, she bombards you with those attacks so yeah and just, just rush her rush her be on her and just take her out she'll spawn another enemies too uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do guys so when you actually get here you'll end up at, and you defeat this boss you'll end up at this grace point right here guys which is the forsaken graveyard so now you got access to this area and the map is somewhere down here which we'll uncover or is it that way i can't remember but you'll see it anywhere we'll go to it uh, so once you beat that boss like i said you'll get that that um the barbed staff spear and now guys we run forward and the one whole thing about this area and you'll probably notice it straight away is you can't pull out your stallion watch watch this kicks you off it do you know what that big old horse is scared of the area people your horse is scared of the area yeah you can't pull him out Spectral steed is frightened and cannot be summoned. This big old horse is scared of a bit of smelly water. Come on, game. Come on, game. Okay, so we're just pushing forward straight onto this grace right here. Straight onto this grace right here. So this is the abyss of woods and this area is full of things. Full of dangerous enemies and I've barely scratched the surface like I said. I mean, I went left, which is what I'll showcase you guys because there's another grace down here. And on your way, you come across the mad in hand. So this is the grace, guys. And then we're just going to push down this way. Because the map you uncover is somewhere down here, I believe, which we'll come to anyway. So, yep, follow this path. Again, this grace is the woodland trail. I'm trying to pull out my horse here, and I'm not, it's not working. So you want to come this way. So take this way. You can see the path I'm going. I'm going southeast-ish again, actually more south. 
You're going to run past these goats with those fire eyes, those maddened eyes. And just keep coming this way. And again, at this point, you'll be invaded or you'll see the invader of the mad in hand. Take him out and you get those uh, mad in hand fist weapons, which I'll showcase to you guys at the beginning of the video. So let's keep coming down this way, guys. Let's keep on coming. And this area is, it looks like it's filled with things. There's so many different paths you can take to. And I don't think I've seen barely anyone even mention this area. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool, people. So just ahead of you right now, you can see where that map is found. On the light up pillar right there, that's where you get and uncover this area so you can see all the details on your very own map. Oh yeah, badass people, badass people. Yeah, I'm gonna explore this area in a, in a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And see what I can find down here, what's lurking down here. So this is where you get your map from, as you normally do, right there. And then guys, behind it there is a grace, which you can then go and trigger. The abandoned church. Right there, the church ruins grace. Then guys, behind here, is our frenzied perfume bottle. Just there, sitting there waiting for you to pick up. And there you have it guys, it really is as simple as that. Have fun exploring this area, I don't know what's down here. Um, some hard hitting enemies, I think I've come across one which I couldn't seem to kill. Uh, but other than that, I mean it's all of this I haven't really explored, so yeah, it's a lot for me to look into. But there we have it guys, how you get to the abyss for woods, the secret area in the Elden Ring shadow of the uh, tree and get some pretty weapons along the way. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.